Zelda 2 is often cited as the black sheep of the Zelda series, and I can see why. It's so different to the other games on a fundamental level. This can make it hard to approach for players more used to modern Zelda. So more than any other game in the series, I would like to see this one remade. In a way that makes it more distinctly Zelda-like, while still retaining the core feel of the original game. And I think one of the best ways to do this would be to implement a rupee system. One of the key advantages of this would be to make potions a commodity in the game, which would do wonders to help people who struggle with the difficulty. But I would also use it so you can buy traditional Zelda weapons and use them in gameplay. The pure sword and shield mechanic in Zelda 2 are well done and can be pretty intense, but there's no real reason other weapons couldn't be added to the side-scrolling style. For going the usual style of finding weapons in dungeons however, these weapons would be bought in shops like in A Link Between Worlds, and would work purely to aid in combat for those struggling to kill tougher foes. The exception to this would be Bombed, which would replace the Handy Glove in Midoro Palace. The Handy Glove would still be in the game, it just would be moved to a later location. Other weapons that could be included are, could be the bow, boomerang, hookshot and the lens of truth which would aid in finding those hitting passages later dungeons throw at you. Additionally the hammer found in the same place as the original game could be a usable weapon. Its main feature being it can break through enemy shields but is slower than the sword and leaves Link without his own shield. Hidden skills were first introduced in Zelda 2 but there was only two of them which feels kind of weak so I'd add a few more. Like in Zelda 1 I think the spin attack has to be there. This would have been more like the vertical spin attack in Skyward Sword however and would attack enemies near Link in all directions. The Peril Beam from the Minish Cap could also fit in very easily. This would basically give Link access to sword beams when he's low on health. The Jump Attack, another staple of the series, could also fit well in the 2D plane. It would be a stronger attack that would propel Link forward but needs to be timed pretty precisely to avoid damage. Similar to how it works in Smash Bros. And finally to give Link a late game super attack he could learn a mortal draw in the Valley of Death, which would be another risky but rewarding attack. The power of Link's sword increases as you level up his strength. But I still think there'd be room to upgrade his actual sword. Instead of increasing it in power though, the advanced swords could increase his range and his sword beam power. Aside from those changes, there will be a few general updates to progress with the times. Like a better saving system that lets you continue from different parts of the overworld, including the palaces. A few more puzzles in the dungeon, something to more easily warp around the world map. I was thinking the flute originally, but you'll get that pretty late in the game, so it'll probably just be something you buy in one of the towns midway through the game. I would like a dungeon map encompassed in the dungeons. Even the first game had that, so I'm kind of confused why the second didn't. Overall, the game would have more side quests and mini games in the towns to get all these nice new items. And finally, for those who think these additions would make the game too easy, I know EXP mode to really challenge the player. Well, that's it for my Zelda 2 changes. I have loads of notes of where to find like, these items and how exactly they would work in the game, but I won't bore you with the specifics. Tune in tomorrow where we will be talking about A Link to the Past.